hello everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesforce and this is rohit and today i'm going to show you spring 23 release the bass features that is called use the improved condition directory instead of if true and if false so if you want to learn something new so please watch this video until end you will be get to know about these things i hope right so let's get started without any further delay so if you are wondering like uh, traditional if true and if, if false that is called conditional directories so don't use right now because it's a deprecated so in spring 23 right so it's a new feature and based on this new feature we can use our lwc if or lwc else instead of like if true and if false so how to do that let me show you with practically so first of all you have to create one component so how to create the component just if you are using window just press ctrl shift p and create the component here and give the component name as you want like let's say conditional render right so here you can see this new component under this new component let me create the html first because i need to design something right so under this html if you want to use like uh, if true or if, uh, if false directory so you can use it but uh, uh, i suggest you because it's a new feature so always use the new features inside your salesforce org. so this is the new conditional rendering rendering statement so you can use it so how to use that so let me define first of all one template if you want to use conditional rendering so always use template under this template you have to pass lwc colon if so this is the one you know rendering things if conditions so how to use that let me show you here so you can use any variable here let's say is template one something like that so under here i can use my html this is you know template one for example purpose and uh, suppose that if you have like false condition so you can use like this and after that you can close it here like if uh, if you have like lots of condition you can use else if otherwise remove it you can use like another things here that is called else lwc else right and uh, don't pass anything because it's a conditionally so you can remove it and you can use it like this so please try to understand this one this is a new condition like lwc if or lwc elf lwc if and else right so you can use instead of you you can use it instead of you know uh, if true and if false so how to do that let me tell you here so once you've done it now you can use inside your you know this property your js so just under this one let me define this property as a true for example purpose right let me save it and let me deploy so let me expose this component first let's say true here right under here let's say target this target let me deploy this component once you deploy it you will be see this conditional rendering things right so under this you know new if lwc if or lwc else it will be work only spring 23 release before that it will not work definitely you can use it in your code because it's a new things and uh, this change apply to the custom lightning web component in lightning experience lightning app builder page sites and all version of the salesforce mobile app and this change is also applied to the lightning web component in open source and with the lwc if and else if and or lwc else condition directory the property getter and access y only one time per instance of the directory right so let me open my org and i want to use that conditional rendering here so just added this page and once you added this page just you have to do one thing here so just you can collapse it under the custom you will be see your component so my component is conditional render so just drag and drop anywhere as you want so just save it and go back and immediately you will be see the template first because i already set up the true condition that's why you can see my template this is the template one right suppose that i want to make it this property false 
so how to do that just you can change it and once you change it now it's checking the L LWC if is uh, true or false so in this case it's false and it will be comes in this template that is called this is template 2 so let me deploy it and once you deploy it you will be see this output in your org so here just come come here and refresh it and you will be see the new output so just refresh again because it's some sometime it's cache issue okay so just refresh it now you can see immediately uh, this is template 2 because we already set up the false condition and uh, the false condition always comes this part that is called LWC else and true condition comes under the LWC colon if so this is the way to work on the use the improvement condition directly in LWC spring 23 so guys I hope you learned something new in this video if you like this video please like share comments and please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching